Good morning, New Hope Central Wahoo, uh, Ohana. I wanted to take this uh, opportunity this morning to uh, give you pearls, pearls as I call it, just some encouragement from uh, my time with the Lord in this uh, definitely a season of uncertainty to bring you a word of encouragement. And uh, I'm sure all of you know about um, the new lockdown uh, mandates that are coming from the state and our governor, I mean, specifically the mayor. And I just wanted to give you um, the, really, the lowdown, the biblical no lowdown on our lockdown. And uh, let me read from you uh, a song that was written in uh, Psalm 121. It gives us a perspective to have in this uh, dire situation. Let me read it to you this morning. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forever. And I repeat verse 3. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. we are got to have assurance that the Lord knows what, what's going on. And He is not sleeping. He is definitely aware and concerned about all of what we're going through. And I'm sure that many of you are facing uh, um, the loss of uh, a stream of income. And um, you're wondering if the Lord will continue to provide. Well, I want to, uh, I want to assure you that He is a provider by His very name. He is the one that comforts us during this time. And He will be the one that protects us. He will provide a shield around us. So I want to use this time to just pray for you. And um, I just want to use um, this time also to encourage you, you know, in this time where people are um, really uh, needing prayer and comfort and support, I want to encourage you to text someone, call someone, email someone, and let them know that you care and are praying for them. I think that is one of the best things we can do during this time to know that we are more better together. So um, let me just pray for our time uh, here that you can just... Um, uh, just be assured that the, the Lord is uh, with us during this time. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, you are so aware of what's going on. You are not slumbering. You are awake and concerned for all of us. And so we ask that the Lord, we would be reminded of your promise that you are our provider. You will provide for all our needs in spite, Lord, of what looks like in the natural um, bleak for some of us. But we trust that you will provide. Lord, that you would lift our load that we would experience your peace that passes all understanding that will guard our hearts and minds in you, Jesus. And Lord, we trust that you will comfort us during this time, that we would rally around each other and Lord, draw closer to you during this time. And we trust, God, that uh, we can use this time to encourage so many around us, Lord, and also be light and salt, really be salty Christians to those around us where we can share your love and hope that we have in you in this in this dire situation. So thank you, Heavenly Father, for looking after us. We love you, and we know that you love us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, have a nice day until we um, uh, meet again. And I'll be continuing to sing, send out these um, pearls, pearls from my desk. Aloha.